satisfying that is. Like, it, I just cleaned it all out and sorted it all out. So this is like eyeshadows, small palettes. I don't go in this drawer as often as I should, but still, it's like a makeup collection. You know, I mean, you don't have to use everything every day. Um, I like to collect makeup, just like people collect stamps. That was weird. Then this one I sorted out as well, and this is all my eyeshadow palettes, like bigger ones. I do have these smaller ones at the back, and um, like, um. What do you call them now? Beauty bags. I actually do use them every day. And then I got this for Christmas. Keep it fresh. Um, I don't know why it's in here. It just is. It's just sad. I think it's because they're all colourful together. They look nice. But yeah, I need to go through this a bit more. Because I feel like I keep using the same palette every day. And it's just not on. Like, I'm not, I've hardly used this friend's palette that I got for my birthday. And I really, really like it. And I've hardly used my Mitchell palette this year. Well, not hardly. Right. So this drawer needs to be cleaned out. Um, and I don't know what to put in it. Like, because these drawers are a lot deeper, I kind of want to move all my foundations into one of these. Because right now, that my foundation drawer, my powders, concealers, primers, it's just like a whole big palaver. Um, but then again... It would probably annoy me that they're on this side when this side is like all from eyes. So this might be my new skincare drawer. Because eyeshadows as well, like they they don't need to be up the top, especially that them. But I feel like I do need a space to just put on my skincare and stuff like that. Or combine all my eyes into one big drawer and then there'll be a spare one then my mum got me these i think from like home bargains yesterday and i have another one to sort out today so last night i decided i don't know why i'm leaning this on my leg it was bad lying where it was before so i've literally just got this small box and it's got like a heat protectant mat on it and then my scrunchies i don't know where all my other scrunchies have gone i have a feeling it's my mum though and then all my hair tools, which are mainly Mark Hill. So I've got like all my light like, heads at the bottom. Um, I have quite a few of them, to be honest. They're probably my favourites. And then I've got... Um, this is a crimper, which I got ages ago. Hair straighteners and my hair dryer, just Tresemme. I got them cheap at uni. Some hairspray. These are all gloves, because I can't do anything without burning my hands but that's gonna probably sit under here and i'm just gonna sort all this out now why is my laptop under there and what's that sticker from so i have no idea what i'm doing but here we are so it's a bit of a tough one this because this drawer is lashes, this drawer is eyes. So I could just put skincare in this big one rather than messing around with them drawers. Or do I combine them both? But then that's not, like, right. Do you know what I mean? I'd use my skincare quite a lot. Oh, hello. So I could put it in this drawer and it would actually probably work a bit better. But I don't know if I have enough skincare to put in it because I have a skincare fridge in my Lazy Susan. No. What's going on? Right. I look crazy. <clears throat> Why do I always need a drink when I have to like start speaking? Oh, I like to use this heat protectant spray. It's from Poundland. It's argan oil. It just smells so nice. I might spray some on my hair now. You know, protect it from look how <laughs> also i cut my hair in vlogmas like myself and why is it still like growing <coughs> <coughs> i just hiccuped and coughed so i'm going to see how this drawer works as a like I don't know if 
to put all my eye stuff in then i have two drawers one can be skincare one i can put like medication and fake tan in um but then that feels like a waste to me when i can have a massive drawer of just wonderful lashes so let's try it out i don't have like um proper things to put them in though that's the only problem like and i don't just want to have them roaming around the drawer but like you know what i mean you want the top to look nice and not have everything on it so skincare on my lazy susan i've got my retinol but I, I might take that off just because it's with all my sprays and it don't need to you know we don't need that so i'm thinking fake tan should go in a drawer but they all have no lid, so that isn't really a vibe, if you ask me, because... Right, Selena, you keep doing that lovely. I'm going to start with putting my headbands in, so how cute are these? I got this one from Primark, and my friend Jeff, Jess got me this one for my birthday last year. I love it. Oh, but you know what I mean? I feel like I need something to put them all in so they're roaming round. Also, this next year, I want to proper get into jewellery. Like, I've got this massive chunky necklace, which I feel like a lot of people won't like. But I'm literally, like, loving it with, like, all black outfits and stuff. I've got another one on the way, and then I have two already. I know it sounds really weird, but I don't like jewellery. Like, I try hard. But, like, I don't own any rings, bracelets. I literally have, like, four necklaces and a watch. And, like, that is it. So, I kind of want to get a nice jewellery stand and just start getting into it a bit more. Maybe not rings. I don't know why rings just freak me out. I feel like they're going to get stuck. I don't, I've never had my ears pierced. I don't know. Is that weird? I don't, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I guess we'll just tidy the room and see whatever happens, you know. So in my drawer, I need to put this. This used to be my makeup bag. I have no idea if I got this in a video or not. Maybe not. It's from Primark and it says Central Perk on it. So I'm going to put that in the drawer with my headbands. And I got these skincare-like flannels. By the way, you might be thinking this is really weird not to put it in my bathroom but i don't want that to be cluttered either and i know my mum wouldn't and she'd nick something like not not in an evil way but she'd she'd see something she'd want to use and i wouldn't see it again she, then she'd be like well you've got loads and i'd be like yeah but that was the one i really wanted it's a first world problem and no one cares but so things that i use like not used every day or big things because it is going into a drawer right next to me so it doesn't matter too much but i think all my sprays need to go on in my skincare fridge but like i've not turned it on for a while because i'm pretty sure i've just thrown the adapter somewhere Oops. but i also want to get reusable pads because i bought um this retinol toner i got it for christmas and all my toners are currently spray, so I've not had to get a pad and, like, rub it in and stuff like that. So that is something that I need to order because I don't want to use ones that you can't reuse. Honestly, I've literally just chatted to you for, like, an hour. Is this okay? Is this even legal? Right. So, hello, Selena. Is that lighting bad? You nearly tapped me before, didn't you? Right. Firstly, I've got this Indian Indian Healing Clay, the world's most powerful facial deep pore, deep pore cleansing. You see, I've seen people use this and apparently it's really good. But it says you need apple cider vinegar or water and mix it in. Maybe we should try that. My next pump and I, it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was my sister's and she left it here, now it's mine. <sighs> that wasn't dust when my dad was drilling them in, there's, you know. Then, 
I've got my big CeraVe tub. This is a really good moisturiser, but again, it's quite big to have on my desk. Then I've got moisturisers out already, so I need to put the ones that I'm not using away. And also this face mask. I don't use it every day, but it's just because a peel-off one sometimes annoys me. That is the only problem, but this is a really good face mask. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I'll show you my other ones after. Oh, my dad's doing something. I think I might put my eyebrow dyeing kit in there as well if there's room, which is from Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. Um, it's just got dyeing a little thing and then you can mix it in the little pot. But my other drawer's getting a bit full, so we can leave her in there. So what's going in this drawer is, oh my god, my friend got me. The, why am I on a? I'm on a round. I'm on a tangent. The Shake and Shot Rubber Hydra Mask. I'm gonna put that in there because I've not had a chance to use it yet. But I might use that on New Year's Day. Did any of you just save like your skincare for like special occasions? Is that even is that even legal? Um, vitamin C. I don't use that every day. This ordinary moisturizer. I used to love it, but now I'm very unsure. I can't decide if I do like it or it's. It's so hard to actually rub into your face. I know it sounds really weird, but I feel like it's not sinking in. These look so pretty. They're literally staying on my desk. Because they're so cute, all the Mario Badescu skin sprays. We're here to stay. This drawer is looking quite nice. It's full. So, I mean, there's probably other skincare bits I need to put in here. But this is fake tan, eyebrow dye, mitts. These are my, like, body butters. My nail stuff in the back. Um, my jump hope that's easy to get out with all the fake tans there. Because I actually use that all the time. Well, once a week. And then face stuff. Maybe. Oh, Selena, we don't do that. I decided that I'm just going to put fake tans underneath so my bag can just come on and off. And then I think I'm ha quite happy with that drawer. Oh, no. So, underneath my desk, I feel like I do prefer, because in all my hair tools, I can just reach down and grab one because that drawer was just a mess and then to the side of it this is like um medication like paracetamol vapor rub uh ibuprofen gel hand cream and then all my tans and then right at the back is like makeup bags so i need to cut that tag off so you know don't get in the bin but yeah what do you all think i feel like I don't mind it. These small ones get so annoying because now I've just shoved like the plug here and then hopefully that won't get messy either. What's Selena you're making a racket? Also, I just burn uh just burn. I've just been burning my little mojito candle from Poundland that I got in my stocking. I I'm not gonna lie to you though, I've got a block nose. I've got I've got a blocked nose, but luckily I have some blocked nose relief. When I was feeling quite down in lockdown and my stomach was playing up and I just, I didn't really have anywhere to like write my thoughts down, write what was going on with me um, and like just anything like that. And my friend Beth got me this really nice paper chase like notebook and some pens. So... I've decided I was going to save it until now and I can write down my New Year's resolutions and I can sort out like planning my YouTube and sorting my life out. So that is next on the list. I'll show you my room in a bit, but that's next on the list to sort in, I don't know, sorting my life out for 2021. Sorting my room out. Tidy house, tidy mind. 
honestly this like massive hoodie is bunching up and i always have really bad angles of me and then when i edit i'm like why do you look so ugly but like here we are i'm so excited to use this Oh my god, I'm going to put my name in on there and put 2021. Oh, are they all different colours? They look red. Are they red? That's quite cool. Okay, I've got the red off. Why have I not wrote since like you me? Also, I can't believe people want to take their Christmas trees down early. It's making me dead upset. Like, I don't want this to ever leave. But, like every other person and their mum, this year, like, in 2021, one of my main goals is to, like, obviously lose more weight. I did actually lose a bit of weight this year, which I'm quite proud of. So, um, but I need to actually properly lose weight and start eating a bit better. It's, it's you know what? It's not the eating, it's the snacks it's the snacks but i'm gonna today with my 2021 get ready for 2021 i don't know cleaning i oh my god every time i mention the title of this video i literally go on a tangent i have no idea what the, what the fuck i'm gonna call it but like here we are but i feel like i need to research good veggie meals because i need to put my cam my phone somewhere it hurts my arm this is how we am. I used to go to the gym quite a bit and I actually was quite strong like not like strong strong but now I am so weak like I can't like lift in a saucepan with water and like make pasta it's like heavy for me and that is like a joke so and I need more protein and fiber well fiber affects my stomach quite badly which is annoying it even makes it better or worse and it makes me worse but the doctor don't when I was talking to the doctor, she literally laughed at me. She was like, I've never met a vegetarian with no no protein in their diet. And I was like, lol. So I need to sort that out. I need to get like I don't even know what's in protein other than eggs and eggs. I'm just a bit a bit hit and miss with, you know. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I can't stand them. So today's one of them days where we need to sort out good meals and maybe even do a food job online maybe i should go in I've got a headache honestly as well drinking loads of water i'm literally going to order myself a water bottle tonight and all i'm going to do is drink water constantly because i can't be dealing with this anymore like headaches all the time blue light glasses don't help me they make me feel 10 times worse so i mean what a palaver also But what do you all think about like Slimming World and WW, which it was Weight Watchers? Because I used to be on WW last year and my dad said, but I found that um, I lost weight when I came off it, which is weird. Like I didn't put any weight on when I was on it, but when I came off it and started eating what I want, it was fine. I just made sure that I had whole wheat and brown of everything, stuff like that. But then now my doctor told me not to have that because it's affected my IBS, so I just can't win. A few days ago, like before the new year, I started vlogging. Hello. I started vlogging, like getting ready for the new year and decluttering my room, sorting it all out, which I still need to do. But 
I thought I'd just carry on. We could have a long vlog, you know, a few days with me. <laughs> Worst nightmares. <laughs> Who's at the door? I don't know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that close up. Um, but yeah, oh, my washing machine. So loud. But I'm going to do a healthy New Year food shop. I did do one last week, but it was such a small shop for last week that I didn't want to film it. So I thought I could add that on. I'm watching YouTube and uh, I only have one piece of bread left. Is that not illegal? So I'm having one piece of toast. I've run out of everything else for breakfast. So I need to food shop tomorrow. Okay, so I order all my food from Click and Collect Tesco. So let's see if they have a slot tomorrow. At nine o'clock at night. Oh my God, Tuesday's even bad as well. I don't wanna drive that late. It's going to have to be between 7 and 8 on Tuesday. So that's like... Tomorrow I'll have nothing to eat. No, I'm not having this. I just like the click and collect because you just pick it all and it's there. You don't have to run around a shop. And every time I go to a shop, I will forget the most important things because I'm just like that. I've got the bath running, so sorry if you can hear that, but I'm doing my Tesco order right, so I just tried to sign up for a club card, but I have no idea if that worked or not, but firstly, my favourite breakfast at the minute, which is a bit healthy, but a bit not, but it's, it's good for me because it's protein, so I like to get vanilla vegan yoghurt, I want to completely stamp on like all of my basically i want to eat less dairy this year i already have a lot less dairy the only dairy i really have is chocolate and cheese um but i don't mind vegan chocolate you know it's just very expensive it's like three pounds for like a small bar that i'll eat in like a second but I'll get some, I get Alpro Big Pot Vanilla Yogurt Alternative. Um, I've already had one last week. And I put granola and bananas in there. So let me show you what granola I've been using. Basically, they're all about 200 calories, which I'd rather have some a bit less. But then I've also decided that it's full of protein and it tastes nice. And I get that a lot of granola is basically sugar but it's nice with the yogurt the yogurt is literally like really low fat really good for you and then the banana and then that's just for a bit of crunch you know so i use this one um which is protein boosted granola chunky chocolate just because it's very difficult because all of the ones that are low fat and meant to be a bit better for you are still the same amount of calories but they have nuts in and um coconut which i don't like this one is chocolate oats uh sunflower seeds dark chocolate it, it's just really really good oh my god i thought it said coconut then i was like excuse me but it's really really good so i recommend it i'm really i'm really enjoying it and um, i was gonna have it this morning but <laughs> oops oh tesco had their own one high protein granola what is in this though? Like. So I already have a box of that, but I think I might get another one. It's 265. Um, and the yogurt is 160, but I've just signed up for club card, so I should be getting something better. It's like better pricing. So that has been my favourite breakfast at the minute. Um it's all I've really wanted, to be honest. I think I might get some sort of cereal. But I had some gone off. Oh, I can't even talk about it. I had some gone off soy milk. It just put me off it. Like, I just can't have cereal at the minute. But 
So yeah, I've got some organic fair trade bananas, five pack, fuel 70%, 400 grams, protein, granola and yogurt. So that's my favourite go-to breakfast. I'm not really into berries, I'm more into banana and apple, if I'm going to be honest. Um, lunch is corn chicken pieces um, with... The 14p noodles that I always go on about with teriyaki sauce and maybe some tender stem broccoli. Um, I already have some tender stem, so I'm not going to get any more. Actually, yeah, well, yeah well, let's just do it. But that is like my favourite at the minute. Um, honestly, the noodles are like chicken flavour, but they're vegan. So they just taste so good. I'm vegetarian, by the way. Um, I feel like I say that a lot. This product is unavailable. My 14p noodles are unavailable. I'm going to have to pay more. Right, I found some other ones that are 30p. But are they vegan? They're veggie, so they will really have milk in. No, just gluten. Right, well, we'll try these new ones then. I'll get three packets of that. I've got teriyaki sauce. I'll get some more corn pieces because I like to have fajitas. I've got a fajita kit and I like to have tacos. So I already, I think I have corn mints. Um, so I'm not going to get a bag of that because I literally hardly eat that anymore. Um, I really like the Linda McCartney meatballs with pasta. But there is a slight problem that they... I've realised that they make my they set my stomach off. Um, I have IBS, lol. He, <laughs> so I might try and get some whole wheat pasta. I was told not to have that because of IBS, but I want to start having that again because it's a bit healthier. With, I always get meatball sauce or Lloyd Gro Grossman when he's on offer. Is he on offer? No. So it's meatball Tesco and brand for me. Sorry, I literally just filmed a video and completely forgot about this vlog, but I need to end it because it's been like a week and I don't know, I really like videos where people just sort through stuff. So I might do another one, like decluttering my wardrobe and stuff like that. But food wise, I should have filmed this when the lighting was nice, but that's the one thing I don't really like about winter. I like the summer sun. When I'm inside, well, you only go outside, it's too, it's too hot. Might be too hot. So, food-wise, I've got two tins of baked beans, no added sugar. I like to have them with jacket potatoes. Um, oh, I might get some jacket potatoes, actually. Jacket potatoes. I've ordered two bowls. Um, they're on offer, and they're like pasta bowls, and I feel like they're really nice to put food in. Um, I think I got f two golden rices. I don't like microwave ones. I like the ones that you boil for like 20 minutes. Two vegetable rices. They're literally only 25p as well. I like to have them with either corn pieces or, again, I got some chicken tikka, 30% less fat sauce. So I can mi mix that with corn pieces and make like a curry. Heck, vegan sausages, really good with carrot and swede mash um, and tender stem broccoli. Apples. I did get a pizza because one day of the week I probably will fancy a pizza and I'm just going to restrict myself and be like, I'm not, I'm just not like that. Reduced fat, cheese, onion, crisps, get them all the time. Free from pancakes. Um, just easy and Owen likes them. Um, I like to get potato croquettes and they're like, it's a whole bag and they're like 60p and it's like mash in breadcrumbs. It's amazing. My dad loves them so I'm getting them for him. 50-50 bread. I don't mind brown bread, but sometimes I just, it makes me feel weird and it's meant to trigger IBS, so I've got 50-50, so hopefully that's okay. I like to get a bag of shredded lettuce. Um, I've got rocket and pomegranate seeds and stuff, like salad stuff, but I've just gone off the salads. I'm not here for them anymore. I overdid it and now, you know but that's for fajitas and tacos um i might have them tomorrow then i got a no added sugar vimto watermelon strawberry peach drink um just some squash two bottles of iron brew because i'm obsessed 
with iron brew then meatballs sauce i really like um noodles bananas and then obviously the yogurts and the noodles but i think i might add um jacket potatoes but that is the food i'm getting for like a healthy alternative to some things i was gonna get some brown rice and pasta but i checked and we both we have both of them still which is good um but i like to have that with corn mints um but yeah thank you for watching i hope that this was fun like getting ready for 2021 sorting my room out and trying healthier things our exercise bike arrives on the 21st of january so i might do some smaller workouts until then but um i'll try and find something to do maybe go on a walk it's just baltic outside it's freezing um so yeah thank you for watching though i really hope that you enjoyed this and i hope it wasn't too boring it's probably all over the place but i don't mind it um and you know sometimes when i was gonna delete the vlog and i was like you know what if i was watching an influencer and they were like oh, i had this vlog and i just deleted it because i didn't enjoy it I i'd probably sit there and be like why don't you just upload it like just upload it someone might find it interesting so but if you want some i hate doing that i do it in like every video but if you want any meal ideas for vegetarians please let me know um because i'm not gonna eat meat sorry but or vegan meals best gluten-free meals um i was gluten-free and dairy-free for like three months last year um and well i got tested and i am I actually I don't have intolerance to gluten but I thought I did <laughs> but you know what I found really good things I do eat a bit of the free from range still so yeah I'm rambling on this clip is nearly five minutes long but love you all and see you for another video maybe another vlog I have no idea